game changer. You can do this with anything, your 808s, a sound that you've sampled from a different song or samples that you might have collected in your folders. Now you can just quickly get the job done, get your ideas down while you're in that creative zone rather than frapping around trying to slice and get the correct slice points. It's just going to speed up your workflow so much more. So this was much needed, a definite Logic family needed this, we definitely needed this. 100% Logic done us proud. What's going on, it's KC, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. So today's video, I'm gonna go over Logic Pro updated sampler. So it seems like they've done away with the EXS24, blessed us with something amazing, game changer. So I'm just gonna dive into it, quick overview, so you can just chop samples really quick, get your ideas down, and speed up your workflow, which is always a bonus. But before I do that, I want to shout out my two new subscribers, Daniel Pashman and RJ Rondo. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. Hope you hit the notification bell as well so you would have got notified for this video and for future videos. Best comment for this week is coming from Alana. Thank you. I appreciate your comment. Like I always say, it's nice to know that my videos are helping. Helping people who just who's new to my channel and for those who hit that subscribe button and is part of the community and part of the journey. Let's dive into this video. So there's two ways of doing it. We can open up the quick sampler by going into instruments and finding it that way or we can drag and drop the samples. First I'm going to show you how to do it by just opening up the plugin from the channel. So we go to quick sampler and then you'll see the nice new shiny looking sampler and what we can do is grab a, grab a file. When we drag and drop it in it's going to give you two options. I'm going to choose optimize because we've optimized the sampler is going to do its thing and give you the correct root note. It tells you as well. Original user, original tuning, loudness, looping and length, optimize tuning and loudness, search for loop points and crop silence. This is going to save you so much time. So I, this is what I'm going to be using a lot. So we just play the sample as you can see there. In the classic mode, it's giving you the full length of the sample. If you go to slice, it's, it's already chopped your sample up. C1 is the, the key that it starts from. If the slices are too much, right? if there's too many chops, use the sensitivity slider to lessen the chops. If you're not happy where the slices are, just easily move the slices. Once it's all sliced, you can choose here whether or not you want the slices to be chromatic or you want it to be all in the white keys or all in the black keys. Simply just change it, selecting it from this option. If you prefer your slices to be all in the white keys, hit white. All in the white keys. If you want it on the black keys. I know you can't see me pressing it, but I'm pressing the black keys or the white keys. If you want it on, across all the keys, just simply hit chromatic. You've got different modes as well. You can choose from beat divisions, equal divisions, or you can do it manually. And slice it yourself so quick so intuitive mate it's amazing it's gonna speed up so much time just doing it this way so if we go into classic mode and we've got the sample panned across the keys if you start with the lowest c or the lowest note and you work your way up you can notice that the, the tempo of the sample changes so to stop that from happening click on here and the sample is going to follow the tempo so when you go up and down the keys, it's just going to be locked in to the tempo of your, of your beat. Amazing. Also, we've got an option here, the polyphony the sound that you're sampling. So if you press, if you're trying to make it sound choppy, you're going to need to change the polyphony to mono. So anytime you press the one key and then the next, it's going to cut off the last key. If you watched my video before of the EXS24, it was the workaround to get that done was just so tedious. It was long. Now that we've got this, it's a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. Second way, open up the quick sampler, grab the sample, drag it into the space, and Logic's going to give you a few options. As I said, I like to use optimize. So I'm going to click optimized. That way Logic's going to do more or less everything for me. Then I can just play the samples. Start keys C1. I don't really like all them slices, so I'm going to pull a few out.
if you want to get rid of a slice, right click on the slice and delete slice marker. If you want to add a slice, go into this little section here, you see the cursor change and then add a slice. Get rid of that. So if you notice I'm pressing two keys at the same time and they're bleeding into each other. So what I want to do is change the polyphony to mono. I also want them to be on just the white keys as well. For now, for this. So if you wanted to chop a vocal sample and it's got space in it that we don't want to have in the actual sample chop, drag it across, click on optimized. So the quick sample is sliced it up, way too many slices in there. So I just want to bring them slices down to about that many. If that if I need that much. So you starting on key C1. So I hit key C1. It's taking forever to get it. I don't want that. So I'm gonna start that cut right there. Because I'm pressing the keys more than once, it's overlapping. So hit mono. You want it to follow the tempo. If you want to change the pitch, just use this section here, this cool snob, up or down. It's gonna keep the it's gonna keep the tempo as well, and you can make you can make it lower lower pitch, high pitch, whatever you want to do to suit your beat or your production. Oh, incredible, <laughs> amazing, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna see if I can make something out of this.
quick sample is not a game changer, then I don't know what is, because it's amazing. That's going to speed up my workflow. I know it's going to speed up your workflow. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. There's definitely going to be more videos from me showing you a few more. The other things that's in the updates. Logic's giving us a, an, a reason to feel creative and get back into creating and yeah, just being inspired. So thank you, Logic. Thank you for what you've done. We appreciate you. If you've got any questions, want to hit me up on Insta. DMs are always open, always happy to help. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.